Why did the Mexican throw his Why wife off the bridge? Why did the Mexican throw his wife off the bridge? Tequila. <laughs> Woo! If you don't get that joke, tequila comes from Mexico. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. This is Corbin. And it rhymes with to kill her. Sort of. Jokes are better when you have to explain them. Yep. Thank you for the on Patreon. Follow us for your account. Subscribe and like button. I'm Corbin, your humble host. With I'm me, Rick. as always, is this hideous guy named you Rick. You are post toasty. Post toasty. Yeah. You threw the host. I'm the post toasty. Toast. And together, host. we are the host post toasties. Today, we have a. Uh, this is a video of our non bar, A.R. Rahman, reminiscing. About his Oscar. Oh, uh, cool. It, uh, the Oscars uh, YouTube page actually posted this just yesterday. Uh, and so it kind of goes in behind the scenes of... And the Oscars are upon us. And India's about to win their first Oscar for a film from India. And for those of you wondering, because they haven't said anything publicly about who's going to be involved in the song, bet money. I know Ram Charan is here. The only reason uh, NTR is not is because he had a death in the family. And so I think he's coming on the fifth. Yeah, that that. Yeah, they're gonna be in the number. I th- uh, yeah. they would. Why wouldn't they? Because uh, I know there, there are. They've said, the the music director himself has said there's going to be dancing and and like from uh, from, from Hollywood and obviously yeah. musicians from India. They did have not specified Junior and TR. Of course and not. Ram I wouldn't. Would you? It's. I think they're wanting it to be a surprise. I would absolutely keep that under wraps so that everybody in the house is wondering. And then when they come out, it'll make it that much more exciting. Speaking of which, absolutely, uh, Ramcharan uh, was on KTLA. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that on his page on it's Instagram. Crazy. That's why I said I know he's here. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, there was a there was a screening last night of our with, right, a uh, big one. S.S. Rajamouli and and which a friend of mine did go to. Oh, for cool. the, her first time, like a thousand seat place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for her first time seeing oh. RRR, and she was like, "That was that was awesome." I bet. <laughs> Uh, anyways, best buddy film of all time. Our non bar is talking and reminiscing about his Oscar mm. experience and his speech. Uh, Which I don't remember because it was so long ago. Yeah, and we did not know of him. We just we loved Jai Ho, obviously. Everybody still remembers Once that. Again, just that, Valerie just the other night, she said, the only thing I remember from anything I've seen in India cinema, because she hasn't seen a lot, is she remembered, I remember I couldn't stop listening to Jai Ho. Yeah. It's like, well, it's a, it's a good song. It's not Indian cinema, though. Yeah. Here we no, go. It's not. But by an Indian. Correct. <laughs> Dosed non bar of ours. <laughs> to all these amazing dinners before the Oscars, and my Danny Elsman who said, mm. You want to get it, but still was unsure, and whole of India was cheering. I felt like a gladiator. Mm. And the Oscar goes to A.R. Rahman. Zach Efron, yeah, Rockman? Name for the score. I was like, is this real or is it a dream? And because I had to perform next, I was like, AR, hey, don't react. Just be like the Zen mode. Don't mess up your performance. <laughs> <laughs> My speech was not prepared. I said, I'll go by the flow. Maximum, I would say, thank you and go off. But uh, when I was sitting there, I was watching Daniel Lope Cruz speak in Spanish. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to say something in Tamil, which says, That means all perfect praises belongs to God alone. Mm. Is from a holy book. It's a promise from God. Thank you. That if you remember in the happy times, I'll remember in the sad times. So that was the happiest time of my life. And I wanted to remember the God who's common to all of us. And the Oscar goes to A.R. Rahman and Gulzar for Jai Ho. The second time when they announced my name for the best song. The essence of the film, which is about optimism and the power of hope in our lives. I had said in the speech that the essence of the film is optimism and hope because the world was going through that depression, economic depression. And Samrock Milena was done in a way that anybody who sees it would feel high. All my life I've had a choice of hate and love. I chose love and I'm here. God bless. Some people have misinterpreted that statement over some religion and this and that, which is not true. This is the state of every artist in the world. And that's what makes them the artist. They want to give. And love is about giving, not taking. After I got the Oscars, I put it in my hand baggage. 
and the security when I was getting to India, they said, "Can you wait?" And there were almost like hundred people in the in the security check. So the officer took these two of us. Oh, look what I have! And everybody went <laughs> back up and just, "Oh my God!" Please don't touch my Oscar. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> get your hands off my Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy is obviously we a thousand percent watched this Oscar that year. Obviously. Oh, I was rooting for Slumdog. I I remember it. Um, the fact that we and probably nobody in Hollywood, for the most part, or people watching, really knew who A.R. Rahman was. Had no clue. But if, I had if, no clue who any of them were. Yeah, if and I poor nobody in that film. <laughs> No. Imagine if that had film come out now. Yeah. Obviously, it can't. Be a whole new world. R.I.P. Uh, earphone, right? Yeah. Um, but the fact to have, like, this big Hollywood film, get all this recognition, have so many people that we love in it, how, like, magical that would be to have that kind of collaboration between the two industries. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, it's looked down upon now by a lot of Indians just because, you know, they think it's, you know... Um, Perpetuating, the, 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 yeah, the, the poverty stereotype. Poverty porn is, I think, what, what they call it. <clears throat> but you can say what you want. Obviously, it was a good film. It was a it was a very good film, deserving of what uh, it was. Absolutely, when it came out, and I, I get it. I think I think a lot of that comes from the fact that a lot of Indians are like, I I don't want you to see that. Yes. When there's so many other amazing films yes. that you could have seen, yes, uh, and now you think a lot of people think that when they people see that, that's all they think India is is slums, uh, especially hindsight being 2020 that it was a, it was an anomaly it was a singular moment and then hollywood just forgot indian cinema yeah and so the only thing until truly until rrr was this stereotype of oh they made a movie depicting what all indian movies and all india is like and we're going to celebrate it and then let's just move on and that's the only memory that a lot of americans still have in their head about indian cinema and about india mm -hmm. perpetuating the stuff that we put in the i think it was the, the 500 celebration song about you know there's way more to india than just the stereotypes of tandoori chicken and gandhi and you know and that everybody's riding on top of trains yeah i mean they do and that and that their <laughs> movies are just the stereotypical Bollywood, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, thankfully, because one of the best things about technology and the internet is how much closer we've all come and been exposed to so many. I mean, I, I'm just this past week, you know, I watched a Tamil film, a Hindi film, a German film, a South Korean reality show. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, anyways, let us know what other videos we can react to. Obviously, uh, we are heavily rooting for India to get its first Oscar for an I'm Once again, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm aware that um, Sachit Rai has got an honorary Oscar. I'm aware that the costume director of Gandhi got an Oscar, but that's, once again, not an Indian film. A.R. Rahman, not an Indian film. Not an Indian an film. honorary is, yes, it's an Oscar, but I'm... It's no, not but it's like not a normal an, uh, Oscar. Correct. It's correct. Uh, one like, oh, we should have given you one a long time back. Here's one. <laughs> right. No, about honoring a particular work of art that year by your peers. You know who needs an honorary Oscar? Dick Van Dyke. He does. He would be an EGOT. Yeah, he really. He, the only thing be, he's missing is an Oscar. It'd be really beautiful for them to do a Lifetime Achievement Oscar for Dick Van Dyke. And then he would be an EGOT. Yeah. Um, anyways, let us know what other videos we can react to uh, down below. Just